okay. So my mom walks up to me. She's like, hey, can you drive my car to the like mechanic? I'll be right behind you. I was like, um, that's kind of a weird request, but sure. So like, she said, all right, whenever, like, whenever it works for you, we can go. I was like, all right, let's, just, let's go right now. I got nothing to do. So we hop in the car and my mom's like, okay, so I'm going to follow you. Okay. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird, but I mean, I guess that you are how I'm getting home. So I hop in the car, I turn it on and I start driving. And I realized my mom is like right, right behind me. She's like on top of me, basically. I'm like, oh, uh, it's kind of weird. So like I hit a left. And this is a, such a busy street, but I hit a left. My mom does not make it because I go through like, I don't know why I even went. I had such a little space like between the cars and I still went for it. So like I was like, oh, whatever. She'll catch up quick, right? She does indeed not catch up quick. I'm like driving. You know, it's just one of them things, whatever. And I'm. Like, we're going down, like, this windy road, and the car just stops moving for a second. It, like, makes a weird noise, and, like, everything goes black, and it just turns right back on. So I was like, huh, maybe that's why they're bringing it to, like, the mechanic or whatever. So I keep going, just one of them things, I'm not thinking anything of it. And then I get to the mechanic place. My mom beat me by, like, 10 minutes. Don't know how that even happened, but she's like, did it uh stop? I was like, what do you mean, did it stop? Like, yes, I, I hit the brakes a couple times. She's like, no, like, did it, like, turn off? I was like, um, I mean, yeah, once, whatever. She's like, what do you mean, what What'd you do? I was like, what do you mean, what I do? Like, when it turned off? She's like, yeah. I was like, um, I sped up. Because according to me, a carologist, if the car is moving faster, it can't break down. That's just according to me. And she's like, well, I'm just surprised. I was like, what, wh- why are you surprised? She said, I didn't think you were going to make it. I was like, what, what is wrong with this lady? I was like, you think I was going to crash? She's like, no, I just thought it was going to die. It's like, what do you mean? She's like, the car. It keeps, like, turning off. I'm like, why? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, then why did I drive it? She's like, well, I was going to pick you up, but you kept, like, I kept losing you. So I was like, so you had me drive a car that was about to explode because you didn't want to drive it? She's like, yeah, basically. So, like, it was like a 40-minute drive, too. It was like five minutes. So I drove for 40 minutes with a car that's about to explode. And just didn't even know. Nobody told me. So, on the way home, my mom's like, how did you even, like, why were you so slow? I was like, I mean, it did keep turning off, so I just kept slamming on the gas. She's like, she looks at me, she's like, why would you do that? I was like, well, like like I told you a second ago, if you slam on the gas, the car can't actually break down. Because, like, there's too much momentum, and, like, it's going too quick, and, like, the engine will just restart. She's like, that is not how cars work. I was like, are you a call carologist? She's like, no. I was like, I didn't think so. So how would you know how the car works? And then she looks at me and she goes, well, because I know how engines work, and that is not how engines or cars work. So apparently she's a carologist. That's pretty much it. GG.